Oh, oh, what's that? Not loud enough? Here, let me just start typing away on my mechanical keyboard. I'm about to show you guys how to take your mic from sounding like this into something that sounds a lot more like this. Let's spend the next 10 minutes and talk about how this is all possible. What's up guys, it's Night. Hold on, let me turn this thing off. So NVIDIA is at it again, and I'm not even a fanboy of NVIDIA, but there's no question that in the streaming industry, there's no company that is innovating at the level of NVIDIA, and it's not even close. And this week they've done it again. One of the most common questions I get asked is, how do I remove background noise in my microphone? This week, NVIDIA released a new app called RTX Voice. And basically what RTX Voice does is it uses AI to learn what background noise is and then removes that from your audio. Trust me, the results are astonishing. Now you might be thinking, oh, RTX Voice? I don't have an RTX card, so this isn't gonna work for me. This is my normie voice. Well, guess what? I don't have an RTX card either. Even though this is called RTX Voice, it still works with GPUs that aren't even RTX cards. Like for example, I'm using a 1080 Ti and it still works perfectly, which is weird because I would have thought that because it's an RTX thing that it probably uses the tensor cores, which is used to do some magical AI stuff. But apparently there's a little workaround that allows this RTX voice thing to work with non RTX cards. I have no idea how that's even possible, but at the time of filming this, we're still waiting for an explanation from Nvidia. All right, enough wasting time. How do you get this thing installed? If you have an RTX card, I left a link in the description box down below to where you can download RTX voice and just go ahead and install it. Installation is super straightforward. Now, if you're using an older GPU that is not an RTX card, I left a link to a thread down below as well that has some instructions for a workaround to install RTX voice. Now, at the time of filming this, I can't tell you exactly which GPUs this is gonna work with. So just go to that thread, try it and see if it works for you. Now, once you have RTX voice installed, literally just open it up and you basically we just have two drop down boxes. In the top drop down box, you want to select what your microphone is. So, in my case, it's the Go XLR. And then the second drop down box would be your output device. So, basically, what this is going to do is it's going to apply background noise removal to your speakers. I don't know why you would ever need to do this, but it's there. And then all you want to do is you want to go into your OBS settings or your Discord settings or pretty much anything that uses your voice. You want to set your input device. And instead of using your microphone, you want to set your microphone to be NVIDIA RTX voice. So basically what's happening is your microphone's audio is being passed through RTX voice. Then from RTX voice, it's spitting it back into OBS. So at this point, your mic should be sounding exactly the same. But as soon as you click that magical button that says remove background noise from my microphone, the background noise is just going to disappear. So that is the setup. We're going to move on to do some demonstrations so that you can get an idea of how RTX voice is going to affect the quality of your microphone and also talk about how it works so you can get the best quality possible. Let's start really simple. Right now, RTX voice is off, but I'm just gonna start tapping directly onto the microphone capsule. Just so you can get an idea of how loud the taps are. And then while I'm still tapping on the microphone, I'm gonna turn on RTX voice now. And then what you might have noticed is it took a little bit for RTX voice to learn what the tapping noise sounds like. But after that, it's just completely inaudible. I could probably even pick up the mic, start shaking it. Yeah, you can't hear anything. This is insane. This time we're going to pull out a mechanical keyboard and we're just going to start typing on it. And this has clicky switches, so they're very loud. And then while I'm still typing, I'm going to enable RTX voice. Still typing away. And this is what my voice sounds like. I haven't stopped typing. I'm still typing. All right, RTX voice is off again. Let's try a real torture test. We're gonna play some white noise off of my phone directly into the microphone. And you can just hear how loud this is. So I'm gonna enable RTX voice again. And then the white noise just completely disappears. But 
because the background noise is so loud, you'll notice that the quality of my voice will degrade. But as soon as I turn the background noise off, give it a few seconds. And after a few seconds, the quality of my voice returns back to normal again. So for anyone who's thinking that RTX voice is gonna affect the quality of their microphone, yeah, to some extent, it's going to affect the quality of your voice no matter what. That's just how noise suppression works. There's no way around it. Here's the great thing about RTX voice. If the background noise in your stream isn't like a constant hum or something, like let's just say it's really quiet, it's five in the morning, and all of a sudden your next door neighbor decides to like demolish like a 50 story apartment. That's never gonna happen. But like, I, I can think of a better example. Like, I don't know, someone starts mowing their lawn. RTX voice will kick that noise suppression into high gear during that period of loud background noise. And during that period, yeah, your mic's not gonna sound as good, but as soon as that loud background noise disappears, then the quality of your mic just comes back to normal. Keep in mind, in every example, I've been using the noise suppression at maximum, 100%. So you can set it like 50%, 25%, set it to whatever you want. So if you find that you're starting to sound more like a robot or like you're drowning underwater, then you can just kick that noise suppression down a little bit, get a little bit of that quality back in your voice in exchange for a little bit of background noise and play with it all you want. That sounded really bad. One of the things we haven't talked about so far is GPU usage. Some of the questions a lot of people have been asking is, is this gonna be resource intensive? Is my game gonna stutter? Am I gonna be able to stream without dropping frames? I personally haven't done any rigorous testing. I'll leave that up to the PC nerds to figure out because I'm too lazy. But in my experience, I have a 1080 Ti and using RTX voice on uses about five to 10% of my GPU, which sounds like a lot and it is, especially when you're gonna be running OBS which also needs room to do rendering. But I'll say this, I was able to play a game of Apex 1440p, 165 hertz while streaming and with RTX voice on. And it felt pretty much the same as when I had RTX voice off. But again, that's just going how I felt when I played. But I guess if you're playing competitive esports titles where every single frame matters, then yeah, the GPU usage might be a deal breaker. But my suggestion would be just try it and see how it feels to you. And also don't stare at your frame rate and then see if it goes down or whatever. Just play the game, see, see how it feels because that's all that matters, you know? It's free, you might as well try it. And if you end up not liking it, just go and uninstall it. Now, since RTX Voice came out, I've already seen a couple comments from people saying like, but OBS is a built-in, okay, I won't mock you guys this time. OBS is a built-in noise suppression filter. So how does this sound in comparison to that? Here's the thing about OBS's built-in noise suppression. It's kind of like a dumb filter. Like there's no AI built into it. So it kind of just filters out like a constant frequency from your voice and it has no idea of knowing what typing sounds like or what your fan noise sounds like. And it also has no way of knowing when that background noise gets louder, like in that apartment explosion example I used earlier. So what I'm gonna do as an example is I'm gonna pull out the white noise again and just play it into the microphone. Then I'm gonna add a noise suppression filter to my microphone in OBS. So first thing we'll notice is number one, you can still hear the background noise. And also if I like click or something, OBS has no idea what the clicking noise is. So it's still gonna reach the microphone. Now, of course I can get more aggressive with the filter and just turn it all the way up to the max, but you can still hear the background noise and my voice sounds awful. But that's the thing that's really exciting about RTX voice. Does it degrade the quality of your microphone? Of course it does. But the amount that it degrades your audio is totally dependent on your recording environment. The better your recording environment is and the better your mic technique is, then the better quality you're gonna get out of RTX voice. And just remember, RTX voice, as impressive as it is, is not supposed to be a replacement for an acoustically treated room or good microphone technique or basically just like you knowing how to use a mic. Because when it comes to background noise, physical solutions are always going to be the best solutions. But if you're looking for a software solution to get rid of background noise, I'm not going to be recommending anything other than RTX voice ever again. 
unless someone else comes out with like a better solution like amd maybe like come on bro dude and videos like walking all over you do something man well hopefully your mic is sounding amazing and guys let me know in the comments down below if you managed to get rtx voice working and if you did which gpu you were using to get it to work right now rtx voice is really new so there isn't really an official list of gpus that this does work with so if you leave a comment it's going to allow us to know exactly which gpus do work and it's also going to help you with like ad revenue and stuff, which is like super dope. But if you guys want to talk more about RTX voice or literally anything to do with streaming, make sure to join the discord down below. I also stream on Twitch. You can find the link there as well. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video, which I promise is coming out soon because I've already filmed it. So see you guys then. Peace out. And yeah, ha have a great life, guys, or something. Whatever. I don't know. End video.